Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast 3D printing tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, I am back with the Mingna Magician X2 and my sweet Ender 3 case. Now, I ran into a problem. <laughs> Since it was made for an Ender 3, it is a little shorter than that stand works. So check this out. These are wire hangers that are built for insulation supports and I 3D printed these little ends. I use those for a laser project. So now I can actually use my large filament in this case. How slick is that? So friends, today's project is we are gonna be printing with Duramike Pad G. We need to set it for 240 and a bed of 70 to 80. All right, let's start with our filament removal. I'm gonna preheat and we need to do Pet G. I'm heating both and that's because I'm gonna print in just a few minutes. The other thing I wanna do is I wanna raise this up so that we can see the filament come out better. Of course, we're gonna do that with the move tool. Let's go back, menu, motion, and we wanna do Z plus. That should work out pretty dandy. So I have gotten my hands on experimental firmware. Check this out. I have got an unload button. You can see there my nozzle is heated up to 230. I'm gonna set the distance to 10. All right, so let's hit unload and see how this works. It's heating the hot end. It's going to 228 and it dropped down just a little. And there it is. Filament is pulling out. How cool is that? So you can feel it lifting up. I'll wait patiently. There you can see it just switched colors. And bingo, filament removed. That's awesome. And let's hit load. Wow, that was quick. It is pulling through. I'm gonna tap load again to get it go further. So there's negative 30. Accidentally bumped out. Negative 20, negative 10. I can feel it pulling down. It's just a little bit at a time. You can see my fingers actually moving. And bingo, friends, we have got old filament being extruded. And it's switching from the clear that I was using to the white. How cool is that? All right, so with that filament swap, let's find something cool to print. Today I'm gonna print my Gator keychain. So right now you can see that this is green and that is because I had nylon filament loaded. We're gonna switch that to generic, and I wanna do Pet G. Now I've got one called My Pet G I've already adjusted. Let me show you what that looks like. I'm gonna once again use my extra fast 0.3 layers, 0.8 for the wall thickness and 0.8 for the top and bottom. 20% infill, and then these are the things I adjusted. I like 230 for my printing temperature, 80 for the build plate. I'm gonna change that to 70. I'm going to print speed at 60, and I'm not going to use any build plate adhesion. Let's add it to the SD card. Now I can save to the removable disk. Notice I did not change the name. I should have put Pet G in front of this. So I'm going to put that in right now so I know which kind this is. And then also I've got a folder that works with Pet G projects called 225, and I'm going to store it in that folder. Now let's safely eject it. Friends, once again, I just love that this shows this side down. Anything they do to make life easier is a good thing. There it is connected. We're gonna go back and back and print SD card. There's my Pet G Gator keychain. Let's confirm it. And the print is starting.
are, friends. Printing completed in 21 minutes, 30 seconds. As we slide it back and check out the results. There it is. The awesome gator that was created by one of my 6th graders. This was made in Tinkercad by Drake. I'll make sure I add a link to the tutorial in case you want to make your very own adorable gator keychain. Friends, this is my website, hlmodtech.com, and this is the Designer Showcase. Tons of amazing profiles. Right now, though, I want you to hit HL Mod Tech. It loads all of my projects sorted by likes. Friends, if you click on any one of them, there is a tutorial that shows you how to make it. We are scrolling down to find the gator. Here it is. Once again, reactions are appreciated. And bingo, here's where you can find the tutorial and other cool links. Of course, friends, don't forget my 3D printers tab. I can assure you, you can look forward to more videos soon about the Mingda Magician X2. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.